videos of police brutality like the one showing the death of Tyree Nichols in Tennessee are renewing discussions about law enforcement practices. And one congressman says reforms are difficult because it's hard to recruit officers and that U.S. cities stripped police departments of funding. Paul Spay checks that claim for PolitiFact. Just how much have U.S. cities defunded police? Well, according to Republican Congressman Jim Jordan, 20 of them had cut their police departments by a combined $1 billion. Take a look. There, there were a couple years That's ago. That's not what the George Floyd bill is. A number of my about. colleagues were uh, on the other side of the aisle were talking about defunding the police. I got a list of 20 jurisdictions that defunded the police to, a, to the tune of over a billion dollars total. That's a problem. Now, Jordan's office sent us that list he mentioned, and it shows proposals to cut police funding in 20 cities, with the biggest coming from New York's mayor calling to cut a billion dollars. The biggest problem with Jordan's list, though, is that it mostly included proposed budgets, not final budgets. Spending plans are usually tweaked a bit before they become law, often in response to feedback from the community. And in New York, for example, the city ended up cutting the police budget by $322 million, not the full billion that was initially proposed. And that was the case for a lot of the cities on Jordan's list. At least 14 of them either scaled back their plans to cut or completely reversed course with police funding, in some cases boosting funding the following year. And that's why the truth meter rates Jordan's claim, mostly false. Read our full fact check at WRL.com.